Do you want to get more conversions on your website? Do you have a big slider on your website? Well then, if you do, you're definitely going to want to watch this whole video because I'm going to increase your conversion rates over 30% if you implement this strategy that I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, everybody, so there's this big misconception going around that I wanna put a stop to immediately. And that's websites should have a big slider and that slider should have a big, beautiful image on it. Well, here's the issue, everybody. If you have a slider with a big, beautiful image on it, somebody comes in from the web and then they land on your page and they have no idea what to do, whether they're on desktop or if they're on mobile. What you'll see people do a lot of times is just have this big image no call to action, no text, no telling people what to do. And then on mobile, what they do is just make the slider smaller so that it's an even smaller image that really does nothing for any user experience or the user. So now I wanna tell you how to fix that. First off, when people land on websites, they usually only stay for a couple seconds before they make a decision. An animated slider is definitely something that you can do. We have one on our own website right now, but in many cases, it's better not even to have a slider or if you do, just one static image. And that image really needs to have some text and that text should tell people about what your value proposition is, who you are, why you're different, what your value proposition is, and then have a call to action. And that should be on desktop and on mobile. In the modern age, people wanna make quick decisions online. So if you just have a huge slider, that's not good. You wanna have a big, image that's totally fine but some text a couple lines and maybe a few bullet points supporting the call to action and then a call to action right there and that's how you want to do that on desktop now when it comes to mobile you want to have a similar concept but a little bit of text and a quick call to action above the fold every single time so on mobile your call to action needs to be above the fold the same on desktop as well and if possible if it's going to be a longer page you want to show a little bit of extra space so that the user understands that they can scroll down further on desktop and or mobile and show that there's more information on that page. Now on mobile specifically, we have seen some studies recently that show if you cram every single thing into one size above the fold and, and you can't scroll down and people are just kind of stuck there, there's been an even bigger increase in conversion rates. But in many cases for modern websites, they can't do that. They like to have longer pages. They like to be able to offer more information and that's going to be different for every business model. So the main thing I wanted to tell you today is go through and audit every template on your website. Audit your home page, audit your main service pages, audit them on desktop and audit them on mobile and make sure every single one has a sentence that describes what the purpose of the page is, has some additional information and a call to action above the fold. And don't just have big sliders that are just out there. They look big, they look beautiful, but people don't know what to do with them. Yes, you know, some websites are bigger into branding. I understand that. But even those need to have a purpose for the page to push the user into the action that's appropriate for that individual page. That's it for this Ignite Visibility University. If you agree with this one, give me a comment. If you're going to go through and audit all of your pages, give me a comment. Tell me what you're going to audit. I want to hear about it. And if this worked for you or if you've done this in the past, leave a comment and tell us how it worked so that we can get other people some great advice and then they understand how important this is to do for your business. Thanks so much. See you next time.